Hey, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for dropping by. And today we'll cover hydrogen water. Wait, 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 before you say, hey, hydrogen water, I don't know, heard of it before, it's not for me, I don't need this, stick around. Because in here I'll explain free radicals, oxidization stress, antioxidants, how all this relates within hydrogen water, and how all this will relate to four or five more of my videos and the oil, olive oil that we covered in the previous video. So this will give you a good insight in how cancer is created, how many diseases are created. So you may want to stick around for this. Also, like, subscribe, hit that bell button, encourage me, uh, much appreciated. And since this will cover a lot of diseases you know that the claims are made please do not change any medication or treatment that you're on without your doctor's advice a very important all relative links I'll put below um, so basically I have three more videos this is part two of my water I have part three four five um, five will cover uh, filters uh, any type of filters, uh, budget filters, or, you know, different budgets everybody has. Uh, four will cover pH in the water. Is it really good alkaline water? Some screen bite and say it's the best thing that will happen. Uh, is it true? Um, does the science prove it? Uh, three uh, will be uh, all bottled water. What bottled waters are good? Uh, are there some bad ones? And so on. Uh, so without any delay, let's start hydrogen water, alkaline water. Yeah, it does become more alkaline. Uh, is this is this just a new fad hype? What you would say in French and mud? Does it really help? Uh, well, let's take a look. What's the similarity between hydrogen water and this bottle? It's a multivitamin. It could have been any type. I just took this one. And uh, it could be for women, men. It's just like a multivitamin is going to be close in similarity to hydrogen. I'll, I'll get into that in detail. There's a lot of things that I'll cover. So stick around. There's just words you may not understand that will, you've heard not for the first time, but nonetheless, you heard before, but you don't know. I'll, I'll go through every word that I have to go through in, you know, to explain this. Hydrogen water. What are the claims? the company's uh, statements do you know hydrogen water goes after your free radical uh free radical that's yeah um it's a bad thing in your body it is i'll explain that being so small it could fit everywhere as an antioxidant i'll explain antioxidants again uh but uh yeah uh it's a good thing an antioxidant's a good thing but i'm still wondering what does a hydrogen water do with this one of the claims is that hydrogen molecules could balance and regulate the way our body works. Boost energy by helping your mitochondria perform better. Mitochondria. What is a mitochondria? Mitochondria, basically, you have a few in each shell. Some that vary from 100 to 1,000, depending on where they are. Near your heart, there's a lot of, there's a lot of them. It's like a little battery that is in your cells these things will give you energy and will give back energy to your body and you know feed atp in your body which is the energy that you use to work with i'm not going to go into atp but basically mitochondria is like the batteries in your cells um help you recover your workout you know sometimes we work out we may run a math marathon um, it'll help reduce cerium that I have an issue with but I'll explain lowers inflammation that too lowers cholesterol help burn calories and lose weight help stabilize blood sugar levels and reduce bad cholesterol by 15% slows aging process stops cancer that's a big statement and the list goes on I could have written three pages on this where I have issues is when they start pr putting percentage 18, 20, 15. I found nothing of this online in any researches, you know, stable researches, you know, with uh, 
a minimum of 100 or 1,000 people groups, you know, which the placebo one side and hydrogen on the other, you know, or go with the, the things, uh, go with the real steps to move forward for a real, you know, uh, study. Uh, these come from personal uh, labs, basically. So did they knit, nick and pick what they wanted from it and wrote the values that they want? Um, I don't know. Let, let's let's keep reviewing. Everyone's always looking for the magic bullet. That's true. You know, we're always looking for the fast things to solve our problems. You know, and heal as quickly as possible. But does all of this have a scientific basis? Again, like I said, I've looked everything up and I couldn't find much to tell you the truth. But I did find something. But I'll get to that. Can hydrogen and water really help your health? Before I go all these keywords and these free radicals and everything like that, let's take the basics. Let's look at the basics. Okay. First of all, our body is 70%, 60 to 70, 65 to 70 percent water. So basically we have 55% of our atoms in our body that are hydrogen. I I I made this little from marbles, this little water molecule that I show everybody. You know, because I need it for part five. It's the oxygen, dark one, and the two little hydrogen. They combine to an oxygen molecule, uh, to an oxygen atom, and form a water molecule. This is a water molecule. You got billions and trillions of this in like one little drop of water. Okay? Yeah, that's a question. How do astronauts get their water? Let's say the first time you go in space, you just bring up your bottle of water? Not going to happen. Can you just put a big barrel outside as you're going up and, you know, get your water from there? No, because you could have so much water. You can't compress water. The compressing for water molecules, the way it's done, it just won't compress. You know, the, the compression rate is like so small. You just can't take water and just squeeze it into a little smaller thing. You just can't do that. But you could do it with gas. Remove the hydrogen atoms, they become a gas. Remove the oxygen atom, it becomes a gas. So you take the hydrogen from your propulsion, as you know, what pushes the, the rocket up. Use your oxygen from your oxygen tank. Put oxygen in one side, hydrogen in another, in another test tube. They're both gases, spark them up, you got clear water, perfect clear water. Again, depending on the purity of the hydrogen and the oxygen. There you go. Hey, you know how astronauts use a drink? Now they just recycle their water. Every time somebody goes out there for years and years, they just recycle the same water. But you'll understand how that is not so disgusting. Because this water molecule, okay, from rain, from anywhere, from our tap, it's been around for thrill, uh, billions of years, you know, since the water, the earth has been created. Yeah, I won't say it. It's been an out of many things. <laughs> Three most common ways that the companies wanted to market this. Well, they created water electrolyzers, you know, two metal plates that would form some electricity between them and just separate the hydrogen from their, their you know, just separate the hydrogen atoms from their water molecule and just create hydrogen water you got water ionizers they're a bit more expensive you know there are two plates but there are two plates which are isolated not in the water but they they create uh, the same thing same thing it's water electrolyzers basically the same thing don't anybody tell you that any difference same damn thing just the the plates are protected and they're better it's a, it's a better system and uh, they do the same thing, just separate the hydrogen uh, atoms from the water molecule. Then you got the hydrogen pills. Yeah, that's a hydrogen pill. Let me hide the thing. Let me point it. Yeah, they're small little pills. Uh, yeah, they range from 50 to $90 a bottle, which if you have to take every month for a year, it climbs up. It gets pretty expensive. You know, in your water, how pure is it? Yeah, you still get the hydrogen, but... Um, yeah, okay. I won't go more in detail on that. The ways manufacturers were looking at making you take that hydrogen. It's like, hey, let's go through gas. Yeah, but who the hell's gonna, you know, 
uh, you know, you have to grab the mask with the tank on your side, uh, you know, breathing in the, uh, the hydrogen gas. I don't know, but I don't see that happening. Dissolving saline into injection. Hey, man, I'm scared of the injections. I don't like needles. I think 90% of the people don't like it. Uh, taking a bath in hydrogen water. Hey, I hear that's still done today, but, you know, by the time you get in your bath, maybe 50-80% of your hydrogen already evaporating in the air, unless you still have your um pills or you know big pills that are dissolving still and it still will get some of it will get through your pores and will get into your uh, body um that's the uh, eye drops not uh, not much people like putting eye drops in their eyes especially not knowing how good the eye drops are or it's you know medical and uh no that that doesn't run let's make him drink water let's separate it directly in water and that's where the electrolyzers come from or let's make him take pills, you know, drop a pill in the water or just take the pill and drink water. Yeah, those were the practical methods. Um, okay, let's take a look at those. From a hydrogen bottle, when you open, there's a good percentage of all the hydrogen gas goes, like when you open a uh, you know, pop, you know, the soda pop, you know, it's like half of it already escaped. Same thing. You have so much time to drink it before it evaporates. Yeah, there's some in the water, but you'll get very low percentage of water. How much does that system really create those water bottles? It'll create about 0.1 part per million of molecule of hydrogen, that little hydrogen molecule, this small little hydrogen molecule. It'll create 0.1. How much is 0.1? Take a million dollars. Getting currency of $1 and um, take that one dollar and start stacking them up you know what one million dollars separated by a currency of one dollar each will probably fill more than half this room which you see behind me take one of those dollars cut it in ten put back nine pieces and keep one piece that's how much molecules you'll have that's not much but again in 500 millimeters of water we have to take a look on how much hydrogen, uh, how much hydrogen atoms there is with these water molecules. Okay, it's quite a bit. Um, ionizers deliver 0.1. We just finished talking about that. In the best scenarios, they create about 0.5. Okay, so five small pieces of the dollar out of one million. PEM machines, they get a better rap, but it's still they'll produce one part per million. That means one dollar out of one million that you'll create hydrogen atoms, hydrogen water. Uh, same as ionizers, positive plate is not, is not in the water. And, uh, you know, better choice for since it doesn't create chlorine, I'll get into that. And that's one thing, these ionizers, I just, you know, some of these water bottles, why are they still on the market? Because it's so damn dangerous. Uh, you got the negative plate. Well, I might as well explain it now. You got two plates uh, in certain of these waters. They put them at the bottom and you know they create that energy between them which separates the hydrogen atoms with them uh, you know what we've seen in the water molecules. You'll separate those and create your hydrogen water. But that second plate has a byproduct. Unfortunately, it creates chlorine in your water. Chloride, which chlorine, chlorine gas, which is created. It's it's deadly gas, it's poisonous gas. Yeah, you have that smell when you open it. You go, oh, it doesn't smell good. Oh, hydrogen, I have that. Hydrogen has no smell. Well, I'm smelling air. I, I smell a lot of hydrogen. No, no, hydrogen doesn't smell anything. So uh, basically a PEM machine has that plate, that negative plate in the water, but that positive plate, which usually creates the byproduct of chlorine, it's isolated. It's not touching the water. So those are the bottles you should look at. They're a lot more expensive, a lot more expensive. But if you want to go for this, yeah, definitely. you got to go for a PEM machine. Hydrogen tablets, which what you're seeing, these guys create 8 to 10 parts per million. So basically a lot higher in a 500 millimeter, uh, milliliter bottle, which is good. Uh, the, the percentage is a lot better. I'm still looking around for my mouse. Uh, sorry, I'm just taking a look at the other screen because it's a lot larger, but uh, hydrogen tablets, let's see, 
hey, you create up to 10 parts per million in a bottle of water. They're the best system to create and deliver hydrogen water to you. Uh, again, you have to ask yourself, in only one of these pills, 500 millimeters of water, create 10 hydrogen, could only fix about 30 to 60 human cells if I'm wrong. I did the calculation, trust me, it was long. But do we know the, the weight or how pure the product is from the manufacturer? Are they putting 50% sugar in, in their pills? Unless you trust that company, it's a company that was like forwarded. They do great systems. They're, they're really well renowned on this, you know, the market. Good. Because you know what? At this moment, there's nothing that's regulated to check them out and see if this is, it's all, it's all up to you people to see if you want to buy this or not. It's not regulated yet on the market. Do they have an as been code? Yeah, they do. No, they have a barcode. That's it. Nope. So, uh, again, it's all up to you. Maybe they'll put 10% sugar to, you know, 10% on their product. Uh, they save a lot. Or maybe it's going to be full hydrogen. Even though they write it on the detail or ingredients, is it true? Nobody's checking it. I, I just want to shoot that out there, you know, just like, hey, um, not that I'm for it or that I'm against it, but just want to let you guys know, you know, there's nothing regulation, no regulation on these products yet. Um, you know, these people, hydrogen atoms, yeah, that was a quick thing of saying we have over 100 trillion cells in our body. It, it this always gets to me. Yes, at this point, we'll see how does hydrogen water work, okay? How does hydrogen cure or fix all these systems? I'm really going to get into it. And this, again, this is so important because it's going to cover a lot of videos that will explain on oxidative stress and free radicals. Uh, how does a hydrogen, how does your hydrogen water find that bad cell that it needs? You're drinking hydrogen water. It goes into your stomach, which is acid water, acid uh, to the pH of three. It's as acid as an acid, you know, your battery, your car battery is. That's how acid your stomach is. Then it goes into your gut. For what's rest, goes into your bloodstreams. And then from your bloodstream, that hydrogen has to find that uh, cell or bat cell that's behind your ear. How does it do it? I know I ask myself all these questions, but let me get into this. I just wanted to throw it out there <laughs> because I know some people will have that question. Remember this, grade 10 or secondary four for Canadians um, in high school, let's just say high school, the dear periodic chart of elements where we got hydrogen and we have oxygen on the right circle. Hydrogen is the smallest one, that's why it's number one. No, not because of that. Hydrogen is not because it's number one, it's because it's the smallest. Yes, it is small, but no, because it has one electron to it. Only one electron attached to it. That little thing that circles the atom around. I'm sure we've seen it all in the movie somewhere. You know, you see this thing turning around an atom. Well, why is oxygen eight? Yeah, you just, we just said it. Oxygen. Hydrogen is one because it has one electron. Oxygen has eight electrons attached to it. This is how it looks, hydrogen atom. This is how a small little white one of these hydrogen atom looks like. It's so small, uh, you know, we can't see it, you know, it's an atom. But these companies are telling us that the action of the hydrogen is reviewed as an antioxidant. Say hey, what? A hydrogen atom is seen as an antioxidant. Antioxidant, I thought that's what we found in the best of our food, natural food, great food, and our multivitamins. The reason my multivitamin bottles. How could a little hydrogen atom, and this is all so right down to the basic, and nobody wanted to do this video, probably because they thought it was too difficult to explain, but you know what? I'm taking a chance for it. I'm going to explain on a molecule at a level that you'll understand things forever on how all disease work. Well, majority of them. 
and its chemical reactions towards free radicals. So yeah, we know that antioxidants will help clear the free radicals in our body because free radicals that are coming from our environment and everywhere around us that are that you know damage our body. Um, but how? How does a hydrogen, I, it still got to me, I had to look it in a little bit more into, I even had to open my chemistry book, oh my god. This is how an oxygen atom looks like, eight electrons around it, okay, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, yeah, it says outer shell, yeah, I'm not going to go into inner, uh, closer, or outer shell, you know, further and everything like that, those all have different effects, but I'm not even going to go into that. I'm just going to keep it simple, eight electrons, okay? It's funny, but that oxygen atom, we need to survive, but it's the root of, of, of all and a lot of problems in, uh, in our uh, body, as much as it oxidize, oxidizes ourselves with this damn molecule. Uh, uh, there I go again, atom. We breathe in 21% of oxygen and we breathe out, uh, we breathe in also 79% nitrogen. The rest is like whatever is around the air, pollution, whatever is in our air. Air is composed of 21% oxygen, 79% nitrogen. That got to me. I thought we, we breathe a lot more oxygen than that. I thought it was like 40, 50% that time. But yeah, okay, I'll, I'll stick with 21. My question would be is, when I had this advanced first aid course, and there was this dummy on the floor, and I mean dummy, not a, a real person, but he's not smart. No, a dummy on the floor. <laughs> and uh, he goes, okay, you have to breathe, you know, and you know, you just took him out of the water, and you, know, you, you expel the water from his lungs now, breathe in his mouth by giving compressions. I go, hold on, if I'm breathing only 21%, how am I giving him back oxygen if I'm taking the 21%? Am I really giving him back some oxygen or just CO2? He goes, no, you're giving him back at least a good 40 to 50%. Well, oh, cool. When I take a deep breath and I expel, you mean I'm only keeping 10 to 11 to maybe 13% of my oxygen? He goes, yeah, and you're giving him back some oxygen. Whoa, okay, um, that's a good note. I didn't know that. So, yeah, uh, as small as the amount we need, as important as it is, as bad as uh, these little damn atoms could get and really, um, you know, be bad for a body. Let me explain why. What is a free radical? We say antioxidants will react and you know help fix the free radicals. A hydrogen atom will do the same. Antioxidants, multivitamins in our food. How does this work? Free radicals creates oxidizing stress in our cells. How does that work? Well, if we take an apple, just a simple apple, we cut it open. What does it do? It starts rotting. Why? oxygen missing something which i'll get into gets into the apple and starts rotting away why does it have a chemical reaction like this i'll get into that a normal cell same thing gets into our cells what does it do it starts attacking it and starts rotting it away what does it do it rots others along with it this is a healthy stable oxygen molecule perfect eight electrons circling it let's take the sun for now only the sun because there's a lot more than that you stayed in it all day with no protection it had a bad reaction in your body and created free radicals on your cells so this uv was bad enough that it removed one of your electrons on your oxygen molecule or atom Man, I'm going to write it in the big right in front of me. I got that molecule always in my head. And I even wrote it down, oxygen molecule. Some of you are going to laugh at this one. So that atom with eight electrons, too much sun, it blew off one of the electrons in it. So what happens is that atom becomes unstable. It's missing an electron. 
And what happens when this procedure happens? This atom becomes a free radical. It becomes highly reactive, chemical. It's not stable anymore. And if it's in your cells, that's what it's going to do. It's going to make them die. Usually we have a few months for our cells. We're talking about a few weeks before it rots it away. And it rots other cells along with it. What happens? Missing electron, it tries to rip an electron and stabilize itself off something else. But causing, uh, you know, cause and effect. Is it what you call it? You know, you make something fall and it follows along and makes something fall and, you know, keeps on going till the final effect. Yeah, that's what happens. And that one goes to, it comes reactive and does the same thing, does the same thing till, you know, you get what you call oxidizing stress in your body with several cells and the procedure goes on. Cancer, a lot of diseases. Yeah, here's what it looks like. Perfect, stable water molecule on top. Okay, and then, whoops, it loses an electron. Then you drink, it becomes, it becomes a free radical, okay? And then you drink hydrogen water, it finds it back and stabilizes the molecule, I could say this time, molecule, back to a stable water molecule because hydrogen adds another electron and stabilizes everything. But if you notice something, the negative, over here on your left, bottom left. And the positive, what happens, negative and positive? What do they do? They attract each other. But enough for it to go in your system, your veins, your arteries, and find the, the missing electron on one cell that's behind your ear or somewhere in your body, at the tip of your fingers or your hand. Again, I'd say a lot of studies are left to prove that, if that really works. What are free radicals? What do they do? They cause so much damage, you know, your brain, heart, kidneys, everything. You know, Alzheimer, Parkinson, everything. Uh, retinal damage, uh, chronic, uh, you name it. You know, there, I'd say it's a good 65, 70, 75% of all chronic disease, you know, and may be caused by uh, free radicals and oxidizing stress in your body. Don't count me wrong, there's genetics, there's a lot of things apart from that that will be causing it, but most of it are habits and the free radicals that go along with it. Because what's the cause of a free radical? Hey, stay in the sun all day, your skin burns, inflammation, uh, you've lost probably a lot of electrons, you damaged a lot of cells. Microwaves, uh, you're close to a microwave tower, power plant, pollution, uh, smoking, which has over 350 products minimum in just one cigarette and 70% of them are cancer. Eating in a healthy diet, junk food, excessive exercise, your muscles are over exerted from running a marathon. Certain medication and treatments that you may be on, certain medication may be affecting, you know. Uh, those are external and um, free radicals. So let's take a look at antioxidants. Antioxidants are body defense against free radicals. How do we get these antioxidants? Well, a multivitamin, usually called A, B, and vitamin D, and vitamin E, are what you call some of the best antioxidants that, that you could take in a multivitamin or you could take in food. These guys have so many electrons to don donate that they could go around to see a free radical that's unstable and just donate one electron to them. Um, and supplements, fruits, vegetables, seeds, pulse, you know, no junk food, simple live food. How does all this relate to hydrogen? Good question. Here we'll do a final answer. A water molecule lost one of its hydrogen atoms, electron, to go along with it. It detached because of these free radicals. It finds a hydrogen water, positively attaches itself to it and makes it back to normal water and a stable molecule in this case. 
what does World Health Organization or university studies say about this? Well, one of the most advanced uh, professor that does these studies on it, Stephen S. Fong, um, part of Virginia Commonwealth University, says, you know what? There's no supporting these studies. Uh, all of these studies were basically done, like I've explained before, by separate or personal laboratories, setting up the way they want to see it and validating their health claims. Usually it's to sell their products. Well, that's ouch to hear. In simple terms, more research needed to determine if drinking hydrogen water could provide a health boost. There isn't enough specific evidence to support the claims that hydrogen water has enough health benefits over plain water, you know, tap water or just water. While all these merits of hydrogen water are there to investigate, well, they just say, hey, just keep eating your fruits, veggies, whole grains, rich food with these kind of minerals and a lot more cost effective. Yeah, that I could do. Um, and uh, if you think you had a few pizzas that day and you didn't take all the you know, antioxidants that you want, just take a multivitamin with A, B, and D, and E, it'll, it'll compensate for the rest. So, still, out of all this, I still found in the, a university study, which uh, they, they, show, you know, they show on top the health, uh, you know, a cell, which they show the mitochondria, hydrogen going to it. They did a small scale experience, experiment just to verify, to see, you know, what happened to the hydrogen. Basically, the hydrogen went and protected the mitochondria by fixing some of the free radicals in them. So basically the results indicated the hydrogen reached the nucleus, is they're very small, so they're able to penetrate the membrane of your cells and went straight to the mitochondria, remember that battery, and uh, protects them. So what does that tell me? It tells me right now that um, yeah, there may be uh, some studies that need to be done on larger scale, you know, and the real studies which they, you know, give placebo or give the real thing. But again, be, but again, before this happens, I believe this is going to take a while because how do you know one little hydrogen, which is so small, will go somewhere in your body and start fixing a cell that is behind your ear, on the tip of your finger, or on the tip of your toe, or somewhere behind your heart? That's, that's difficult to determine. Uh, larger scale ex experiments or studies will need to be done on this. So don't forget our body by itself creates a few liters of hydrogen in our gut. Um, that I will cover as I'm covering uh, pH. I'll explain that in uh, part four of my videos in water. Uh, if you still decide to get a water bottle, very, very, very important, okay? And I still don't know why they sell these other bottles. Get a water with PEM technology in it. Yeah, it may be $200 and more, but still you won't be drinking any or inhaling any of that chlorine or chloride that it's creating in the water because we all know in positive, in the long run, it's poisonous. Here's a bottle that I found. Could have been any bottle, but it has a PEM technology. Price 260. But um, yeah, it's well light, but it's not that that you have to look if it's light or not. But yeah, light means the technology works good. It's not leaking, it works nice. But the thing is, make sure it's PEM technologies. That way you're protected. And that that's that ends it there, but except I'll just do a final part on here, my, the oil. Remember the olive oil? Uh, when it was uh, steaming, I just said lower the fire, steaming, losing the electrons on part of the, their antioxidants in the oil. That's all it is. Yeah, you'll eat, drink, whatever you do when you're taking in that oil with your food. But again, our body has all kinds of systems in place to fix that as you're taking multivitamins or you're eating proper and getting these uh, antioxidants from there and it will come and compensate and fix that for you. Again, people, if you did like this, 
uh, please uh, feel free to share this video that m it may help anybody. And um, have yourself a great day.